guys, thank you so much for coming to today's video. So today we're gonna be talking all about self-tanner, how I do it, what I use, all my tips and tricks. I've been doing it for a long time. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I do and all my little fun tips, then let's get into this video. So it is finally hot, finally. It's like, where is summer? This whole time I'm like, where is summer, where is summer? And all of a sudden, the end of July, it showed up. So I'm grateful for that. We've been going to the lake a lot. We've been just hanging out outside a lot. One thing I love to do, especially in the summer, but I love to do it in the winter too, is do self tanning. I love to just feel a little bit more glowy. I feel like it's so much more flattering. It just makes, every like I don't know it just looks better at least for me I enjoy it you know I just feel better when I have a little bit of a glow a little bit of a tan going on and I don't tan like it is so hard for me to tan naturally I don't know why I just burn like I just burn and then my burn usually just peels off and I'm white again so this is a way that I can actually look a little bronzy like I am like really dark for me right now like this is not this is not like really, really tan or anything, but like for me, this is pretty dark. So my favorite kind of tanners are a mousse. I just think they're so much easier to apply. I feel like they look less streaky when they're in mousse. I don't know why, but my favorite one that I have found is the Miami Gorgeous La Playa Glow Self Tanning Mousse. So here it is right there. So it's just this little bottle and it just has a pump. You just pump it out and it comes out as a foam mousse and you rub it on. It's really simple. But with any self tan, you can get streaky. You can just get spots where it just clings and looks weird or just, you know, uh, throughout using this for, I think I've been using this one for probably two years. So with using this that long, I have some tips for you um, that should work with any tanners really. So I was looking on Amazon trying to find a self tanner with the better ingredients. I know that, that there's a lot with just all these chemicals and just stuff that's really not good for you. And it's, since I'm using it basically once a week, I wanted to make sure that it had better ingredients. So this one I have found and it is $21.95 a bottle which, I mean, it's a little pricey, but if you compare it to what I was using before, it's like less than half the price. Um, the one I was using before is, uh... oh, so the one I was using before is the Loving Tan. I really liked that one a lot. Um, it was like 40 something a bottle though, and that's just, it's, kind of too expensive. I think that one's only available through their website. I'm not sure if they have it anywhere else now, but when I was ordering it, it was. It was just too expensive, and I found this one that has better ingredients. I'll tell you why I really like the ingredients and was excited to get it. So this one says that it has vitamin A, C, and D, coconut and argan oil, paraben-free, no animal testing and made in the USA. So then also all their reviews are really great. So they have 834 reviews on Amazon and their average of 4.2 out of five stars. So people love it. It looks gorgeous. It doesn't look orange. It doesn't, it just looks like a nice natural tan. Like it's not too dark. Um, I do wish that they had a darker option because sometimes I'm like, I wish I could just get really dark. Doesn't really smell too bad. Like it has a little bit of that like self tanner smell when you, like once you have it on, but it's not, it's not too bad at all. It doesn't make you more sticky. Uh, it dries nice and it just looks so nice. So what I do once a week is I have like a self care night where I'll take like a nice bath and shave my legs and like do a body scrub and all that stuff. So that's when I do my tanning is after the bath. I will do a scrub. So like in the bath or shower or whatever, I'll just take like a, any scrub, any kind of sugar scrub and just really scrub off all the dead skin. It's gonna help your tan just look so much better. So after I get out of the bath, I will dry off really, really good. And then I make sure to let my skin like air dry for a couple minutes, like five to 10 minutes. I feel like when I do that, this tan seems to develop a little bit more. Like maybe if you apply it and you're still kind of wet, it kind of 
the moisture on your body kind of dilutes it a little bit. So if you just really let yourself dry off, you're gonna get a little better of a tan. So then another thing I do before I do the tanning is I will take a really thick like moisturizer or like a hand cream, just something really, really thick. So what I do with that, I put it all over my hands, you know, like all over front and back and even go up onto my wrist. Uh, I'll do the same on my feet, get all over my feet, my ankles, um, anywhere where you notice like the tanner like sticking, like your knees, elbows. Um, I would always get like these lines right here and then like under like where the bottom of my bra goes, like I would get these lines. I think it's just from having bras sitting there. It kind of like maybe your skin's dry. I don't know. But ever since I started putting the thick lotion on first, it doesn't, I don't get those weird streak lines anymore. So just really take your time applying the thicker lotion where you think you might need help and where you think it's gonna like stick and cling to. So then how I apply it is I use these mitts. They're on Amazon too, they're cheap. You wanna replace these every once in a while, but I can use them for two, three months maybe and they're fine. They just start falling apart after a while because they are just fabric. But you just slide your hand in and you just rub it on. It works really nice. I found that this is just the best way. I used to use my hands and then my hands would just get stained really bad. Um, I used to also use like rubber gloves, which that can work okay. I feel like this just bl helps blend it better. So this is my favorite thing to use, just any brand, like doesn't even matter. I'll link everything below that I have. Yeah, they have tons of different ones. They have like a little tiny one for your face but just any of these, they work great. Then what I do for my back, I would always have my husband like rub it in the middle of my back because I cannot reach my back. Like some people can just reach their entire back with their arms like no problem. I am not that person, I need help. So I found this one day, it's just a loofah, a loofah, a stick, loofah on a stick. I don't know what they even call this. It's, it's all stained of course because I use it for the tanning, but this, you just squirt some on it and then you can just reach around and just scrub everywhere on your back, get all the places. You can just look in the mirror and I make sure like I get everywhere. This thing has been so nice with tanning. Like I don't even, I don't even like try to reach good with my arms anymore. I just like get my shoulders and like my sides and stuff. And then I'll just take this and do my whole back. It's so easy. It just saves so much time. And it was like, a dollar fifty, I think, when I found this. So this is amazing. If you're doing self tanning, get one of these if you cannot reach your back. So another tip I have that I actually tried last night for the first time because I don't remember where I saw it or read it, but it was some other tanning company that was talking about applying their tanning stuff. Maybe it was a commercial, I don't remember. But they said that doing two thin, two, this is four, doing two thin layers of the tanning is better and will give you a better result than doing like a lot, like a thick layer. So I tried it last night and it definitely makes a difference. So I put my normal amount like on my legs. My legs are like a lot wider than my arms. So on my legs and my stomach, I just did uh, the regular layer and then after I did the rest of my body, I went back and did more on those parts and they definitely are darker. So yeah, if you want a darker tan, go ahead and do two layers. Just make sure you let it dry in between and just do two thin layers like you normally would instead of trying to like glob it on and that will save you. So for my hands, I don't know if you guys can see like I don't have any, like the only part I have I think like right here is like a little bit darker, but like this is nothing compared to how I, my hands used to look. I would have dark splotches all over my knuckles. I would have white spots like underneath and like in between. It looked horrible. Like I would hide my hands. It was either that or I would just not do any on my hands and then I'd have like this completely white hand and this completely dark arm. Like now you can see it's nice and even. It's not perfect, but I mean, it is fake tan. So it's, I don't I mean, it's not gonna be perfect. So how I do this is once I'm done doing my body with the mitt, I will take whatever's left on it and I just rub it all over my hand, the top and then the bottom too. And then I even go in between and get the hole in between all of my fingers. So make sure you get the tan 
your whole hand is covered in the tan. So then after that, I will take the mitt off and then I will rinse my hands just barely in the water and just kind of like rub a little bit, not with soap, no soap, just get a little bit of water. Basically, we're just diluting the tan. We're not trying to wash it completely off, but I just, you know, kind of scrub. I try to get like around here. I just, this, this area is hard. I didn't do that as well, but like just try to get some of it off, get on your knuckles. And then I basically stop right about here with the water. I don't come all the way up here. And then what I'll do is I'll take that thick uh, hand cream or lotion, whatever, and just rub it all over my hands again so that I'm getting an extra layer of like diluting and like blending it in. And that is how I have not white hands. Like I will try to insert a clip from a video from before because they were bad. I was ashamed of my hands before and now I'm just like, I figured it out. I figured out how to do it where it just matches. Like it doesn't have any weird spots. So I'll do that and then I will go to bed and then I'll just wash it off in the morning. And it lasts probably, I would say like five to six days. Like usually that seventh day, I'm like looking pretty pale. But if you already have a tan going on, this is just gonna add to it, just give you that extra deep color and it fades really nice. I don't have any complaints about this Miami Gorgeous Mousse other than I wish they had a darker shade. So I've really been in love with this. I've, I don't know how many I've ordered because I think, I think one lasts like a month to five weeks-ish if I'm doing it once a week. So their site, I just, I think I just read that one bottle is like 10 to 12 applications. Maybe I'm just applying way too much. It's on Amazon where we all are pretty much every day anyways. So if you guys are interested, I would definitely suggest checking out that tanning mousse. Who doesn't want to look like gorgeous and glowing during the summer. That is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments if there's any other like summer glowy, like tanning or like shimmer products that you like in the summer. What do you use to just get that like glowy skin? If you haven't, please consider subscribing. I do three videos a week and I'd love to have you part of my little YouTube fam and ring the little notification bell if you wanna be notified when I upload. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.